Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video we are probably going to be doing one of the most controversial videos on the channel yet over a lifetime. So what it is, I've created a tier maker called 2022 AFL YouTubers tier list and what it is, we've got 25 AFL YouTubers today that we're going to be ranking five different tiers. First tier we have top tier, high quality channel, mid range room to improve and then poor uh, but before we get into it I'm sorry if I've missed any upcoming up and coming AFL YouTubers in this list before we get into this video please don't leave any hate on where I put these YouTubers they're just based on like the quality of their content how consistently they upload and just basically all up how good their channel is so we'll get into it so here we are on the tier maker as I said before top tier high quality channel mid range room to improve and then poor we've got 25 YouTubers here um, just making the cut were Sports Forever and Cam Harrison, um, but apart from that, everyone else is pretty common in the community. So, we're going to start off with Sammy, and now Sammy, he certainly does have room to improve, and he isn't that consistent at all with the upload, so it's, it's either here or here for me, and I feel like people could agree, like Sammy, good bloke, but his channel, definitely not the best of quality that it could be. Um, he's just not really like he just doesn't put enough effort into his videos Sorry, Sammy if you're watching this, but you don't put too much effort into your videos and you're not that consistent So it's either room to improve or poor I'm gonna put it in room to improve because I feel like poor is a bit yeah a bit harsh Moving on to you cat now you cat Jeez what an up what an up-and-coming creator you cat is he's bloody done really well over the past year um, I'm gonna put him probably not in top tier just yet obviously because that's where Caden McDonald and that go uh, But I'm gonna put it in high quality channel um, His streams are really good quality. He's got good graphics on his streams and his videos are good The only thing that I think he could improve on are his thumbnails But apart from that you can you've got a great audience You've got a great channel and keep on entertaining everyone because you are doing a really good job at YouTube at the moment Definitely high quality channel now, Saints TV, if I'm going to be honest, I don't really watch Saints TV, but I do know that he's a good bloke and he does have a high quality channel. I'm going to put him in mid-range just because I've never like seen his content before, but I do know that he is a brilliant bloke and it, that he does, yeah, put together some pretty good videos and content. Now, just making the cut, Cam Harrison and Sports Forever. We'll go with Cam first. And Cam, I'm going to put in the same... I reckon same rank as Sammy. I feel like that's good because when Sammy uploads, he, he actually gets decent views sometimes, Sammy. Um, and Cam, I do actually enjoy his stream yards and his, like, um, yeah, stream yard quizzes and stuff that he used to do in the off, uh, in the AFL season, sorry. So I'm going to put Cam in the same rank as Sammy because I feel like they are both quite similar in terms of, yeah, how good their channel is. And Sports Forever, I, I do like Sports Forever's content. The only thing that I... Uh, like he's got pretty good uh, video ideas and I do like how he puts them together um, However, probably just like the graphics in some of his cricket videos and stuff They could be upgraded a little bit more But apart from that, or maybe his thumbnails as well could be worked on a little bit better uh, But apart from that, Sports Forever, I do like your content I'm going to put you top tier, I reckon, of Room to Improve and Sammy and Cam, well Cam is consistent, so I'm going to put Cam in front of Sammy. Now Bitter uh, started his channel, what, like around early 2020, um, but he, I thought he was just going to be one of those ex uh, YouTubers that just explode straight up to like 30k subs. Um, I'm going to put him in high quality channel because he is very underrated Bitter, like it, everything that he puts together on his channel is so clean his content is clean his streams are amazing his thumbnails are bloody top tier thumbnails like they are extremely good um yeah i'm gonna put him in high quality channel for now because he yeah his graphics just everything is so clean about the bitfully channel and riles macker now he hmm, it's a bit hard to judge riles because he does like obviously live reactions and stuff like that but Apart from that, he pretty much just puts together compilation videos, which, um, yeah, well, do well, and I guess that's his fancy. Uh, I'm going to put him in probably mid-range for now, because I feel like, well, there is room to improve for Riles, but, yeah, he's doing really well, and he's got a bloody big audience as well, so good on Riles. Grew a lot in the 2021 year, so I'm going to put him in mid-range with Saints TV. Now, the Bev Show. 
uh, just off his YouTube channel. There probably is like room to improve with some graphics and stuff like that. I know he has been on a bit of a break um, on YouTube, I'm pretty sure. He hasn't been uploading too much. I think putting him in mid-range is the best just because he's got a large audience everywhere. Um, yeah, everywhere he goes, Bev Show. So I'm going to put him in mid-range. Now, me. Um... You know what, let's call someone. Let's call someone. I'm not going to judge this myself. I'm going to call someone and let them pick for me. Alright, we're calling you, Cap. Now, I don't know if you, Cap, will pick up because it's currently about 7.30. The time is time for him. Oh, Alright, we're going to call Cardi. We just tried you, Cap, but don't think he's awake. Let's see if Cardi picks up. Hello. Hello. Are you busy at the moment? Um, is this from Ida? Um, yeah, it is. Because I didn't have a caller ID for you, so I just said hello. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm currently um, in the middle of filming a video, and I'm doing ranking 2022 YouTubers, and I'm up to myself, so I need... A neutral response so there's top tier high quality channel mid-range room to improve and poor so which where do you think my channel would scale on that um so what's on below top tier high quality channel i put you in that i don't reckon you're top tier yet yeah no agreed but i reckon by the end of this year you could elevate yourself to that position yep all right cheers <laughs> all good all right well you heard it here first high quality channel now cuckoo it's hard to, it's really hard to rank him. I don't know if I probably should have put him in the, in the tier maker because he hasn't uploaded it in a year. So, you know what, let's just leave Kuko. Let's just leave Kuko. We'll put him at the end and we'll see if we can rank him later. AFL legend, I'm going to put in room to him. Actually, he used to be a bit hacky, some of his content, but now he's, now I don't mind AFL legend. And he, he actually puts together quite decent content and he puts together good stuff for the community like he did the YouTuber Rewind and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm going to put him in mid-range, I reckon. Um, Blaze. When Blaze uploaded, I really liked his channel. Like, he used to be one of my favourites to watch, just really entertaining his content. I'm going to put him in mid-range. Uh, Blaze, I reckon, not a high-quality channel, just obviously because he hasn't been uploading uh, quite recently. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to put him in mid-range for now. Now, Backyard Charizard, he is sort of like Kuko as well, so I'm going to move him to the end. Actually, no. Uh, yeah, I'll actually move him to the end because he hasn't uploaded in a long time. So I'm going to move him to the end because it's a bit hard to judge. Yeah, based on his content. Now, Blue Abroad, he's also like Saints TV. I don't watch his content, but I do know that he puts together uh, some yeah pretty funny and pretty high quality interviews and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to just put it in mid range because that's where I put Saints TV, and they both sort of scale around. The, uh, yeah, the same the same area because I just haven't really watched their channels and now Riser, Mitch Ryan are uh, high quality channel obviously um, yeah no order in this so I'm just gonna put pop in there uh, Riser makes brilliant content his stream graphics are on point his thumbnails are pretty good um, and yeah the video is clean everything about the Riser channel I don't mind and also his content uh, really good really uh, yeah interested in his like cricket videos, AFL videos, stuff like that. So, Rise Up, we're going to put him in high quality channel. Um, the Pair, I used to watch The Pair, uh, but I haven't really watched him in a while. I'm going to put him in the same tier, mid-range. Uh, no, he, he, I don't know, he's, yeah, we'll put him in high quality channel. I haven't, I haven't watched him in a very long time, so I'm not really sure where he would stand uh, yeah, where he would sit on this leaderboard on this tier list, but I'm gonna put him in high quality channel Give him the benefit of the doubt because I did used to watch him uh, Jordan McCleary, I really do love his interviews and like fan cams and stuff like that. Seriously really great stuff um, I'm gonna put him in mid-range just cuz he it, Yeah, he's a bit inconsistent sometimes with his uploads, but when he does upload they are always really funny and yeah really good uploads. So I'm gonna put him in mid-range as well um, Druzy. Now, Druzy, I've been loving his content recently. He's obviously been, um, yeah, filming a lot of fitness videos and stuff like that, which is really good. 
uh, yeah, I really like his channel and I'm going to put him straight in high quality channel because I really do like his content. Soup Luke, another one like Blue Abroad and Saints TV. I'm going to put him in the mid-range section just because I don't really watch him that much, but I know that he does have a quite decent channel. Now, Cardi, I'm going to put Cardi in top tier, I think. Now, Mitch would be there, uh, but... He obviously, I'm pretty sure school has gotten the way in the way uh, with Mitchie's upload. So I'm going to put Cardi in top tier because his channel is outstanding. He's consistent all the time. His videos are always good. His weekly vlogs, consistent. They just, yeah, really good. Everything about Cardi's channel is entertaining. Like, no matter what he does, he always finds a way to make it entertaining. Um, so top tier for me. And Kane McDonald, I don't really need an explanation. He's just the top. He's the top of... Yeah, it's the top tier of AFL YouTube. Is the one that pretty much uh, gave everyone motivation just to start their own channel. And he, he started this. And look how many people have joined into the community. So good stuff, Caden. Top tier. And no one will ever get better than Caden, I don't think. True Footy, high quality channel, 100%. Uh, yeah, True Footy makes some really good content, uh, really good analysis. Like, he knows so much about footy and his videos are always just so nicely produced uh, just because of the fact that he knows so much about the sport and that he always puts research into his videos. He always knows what he's talking about. He never, like, fumbles up or he, like, never, yeah, never doesn't know what he's talking about. He always knows what he's going to say. Jordy. I'm going to put him in room to improve just because he, he doesn't upload that much at all, I'm pretty sure, anymore. And there is a lot of improvements for Jordy. His quality of videos, his thumbnails, um, yeah, just like stuff like that. Pretty basic stuff that he needs to um, improve on. But yeah, room to improve. I'm not going to put anyone in poor because that's just, yeah, a bit too harsh, I reckon. For the A2Z, I am going to put him top tier, like... When he does upload, like, because see his content, that will take a long time to create. So, I'm putting him in top tier. I do watch some of his content when he uploads, um, because they are just so interesting just to watch the stuff that he uh, puts together. Like, seriously, really good stuff from Footy A to Z and definitely top tier. So, I reckon, oh, should we, oh, okay, we'll rank these two. Kuko, when he was in the community, I'll probably put him in... When he was in his prime, like 2019, I'd put him in top tier, uh, but that's only in his prime. So we'll put him there for now, but obviously now you can't really uh, yeah, rank him. Uh, but if we're basing it off 2019, I'm going to put him top tier. And if we're basing Backyard Charizard on 2019, I'd probably put him in high quality channel or top tier. So there we go. There is the tier maker done and dusted. I'm sorry. Whoever's watching this, if you guys got offended, it's just my opinion. Uh, but make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Obviously, a bit of different content. I decided why not do this because I feel like that's what fans would like to see, uh, my opinions on different channels. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you all in my next video.